This video shows how to find the equation of a normal to a given curve. Now I've given you a fairly complex curve. However, a normal is just a straight line, so it has the general equation as given below. And for this, we need a coordinate and the gradient. Now, we're told we want the normal when x is 4, so we know that x1 must equal 4, but we also must find the corresponding y coordinate at x equals 4. So y1 must equal, we refer back to the equation given for the curve, the square root of 4 plus 4 squared, which equals 2 plus 16, which equals 18. So we have the coordinate, 4, 18, but we still haven't got the gradient. To do that, of course, we know we need to differentiate. Now, we have a square root there. We can write that as a power, x the power of half plus x squared. We can then differentiate times by the power and subtract 1 from the power. Same again, times by the power and subtract 1 from the power. That is the equation or the gradient function which we use to find the gradient at a particular point. Now we want that when x <coughs> equals 4. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it's worth pointing out that this could be done on the calculator quite easily. However, we will approach this as if we don't have a calculator. We can rewrite the gradient as x to the power of minus a half means 1 over the square root of x and therefore when x equals 4 we get the gradient equal to a half of half root of 4 plus 2 times 4 which equals which we can write in top heavy form so the gradient is 33 over 4 that is what a calculator would give you if you put x equals 4 into the gradient function so this is the gradient of the curve but we wanted the normal gradient the normal <coughs> is perpendicular so the normal must have a gradient of the reciprocal with the sign changed. So if we refer back to the original equation, we have y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And this can be rearranged fairly simply to give a nicer form. So I will begin by timesing up by 33 and from there we can rearrange to get the new equation. <coughs> so 33 y times 18 times 33 is minus 4 x times 4 so 33y 
minus. Then of course you have no calculator. 10, 8, 30, 3. 300, 240, 30, 24. That ends up being 594. 594 equals minus 4x plus 16. So 33y equals minus 4x plus. 610. So y equals minus 4 over 33 x plus 6 110 over 33. And that is the equation of the normal.